Hey guys, welcome back. Got another great shave video going on for you today. So today, uh, it's not going to be an SE shave. It's going to be a DE shave. Uh, but I want to try something out. So indulge me for once, please. So for sake of time, I've already gone ahead. I've lathered up. I've got it applied to the face. We're using the Club Med Panade Shave Soap. And we're using a vintage, I'm not sure if it's vintage, eh, it's fairly vintage, Treat Platinum Blade. This is the one that I got in a trade, so I figured I'd go ahead and give it a shot, see how it works. So we've got our 85, that's my birth year, Black Beauty. Soak it in the hot water. And the coffee for today that we're drinking is Starbucks uh, French Roast Dark. It's raining pretty good out there. Matter of fact, I'm pretty sure I just saw two by two of every kind of animal walking in one direction. So. This day is Sunday over at the Shave Den. They have super adjustable Sunday, so this is super adjustable on today's Sunday. So let's go ahead and knock a shave out. Now, the only acceptable setting on these razors is nine. That's it. Not one, nothing. Not three, nine, or nothing. So we're going to rock it out on a nine today. This is about two day growth that I've got going on here. You see how quickly this razor takes care of it. For our cologne today, we're going to be using Mont Blanc. Not only do they make fine fountain pens, but they make a fine cologne. For our aftershave, it's going to be the remnants of what I had left from the, uh, uh, actually but I forgot I had that uh, Stetson Fresh, we're going to be using that today. Tree blade's good and sharp, I'll give it that. You like it getting pulling and tugging right here on the mustache area. Man, I've got a little weeper right there. That was a pimple that I had that I couldn't get to pops. So. Well, he took care of it, that's for sure. If you guys are having a, we are having a good day. Like I said, it's rainy here in South Central Texas, but we needed the rain. The whining that you guys hear in the background, that's uh, His Royal Majesty, uh, Sir Bentley the Cocker Spaniel, so uh, forgive me on that. He just tried to come say hello to everybody, but yeah, we, tried, we tried to shave her dog. There we go. There we go, yeah. I like this Clubman uh, soap, I really do. Good stuff. Good stuff. I would definitely buy it again. It's definitely one of the ones that I would use. Alright, here we go. Second pass now. Razor here. There we go. You know, I've got those problem areas on their face where it doesn't quite go exactly against or with or across the grain. You kind of got to mix it up a little bit. That's my trouble area right there on the edge of the, edge of the, uh, the lip. So I was sorry to see, sorry to hear the news about uh, Burt Reynolds. Might be a relatively young guy, but you know, I liked watching his movies. Cannon Cannonball Run was a great one. As a matter of fact, um, the scene of the elephant, uh, I believe it was Cannonball Run, it might have been a different one, but I believe it is, um, was actually filmed uh, in a spot not too far from my folks' house down in Florida, so it's pretty interesting. I 
of course, me being from Arkansas, who could forget the TV show, Evening Shade? I mean, it's a great show, so. Birds, you made us laugh, you made us cry, you made us feel like we were 10 feet tall. So, for that, Bert, thank you. You'll be sorely, sorely missed. What's your guys' favorite Burt Reynolds movie? I'd like to hear about it down in the comments. Go ahead and tell me what it was. Yeah, so this is actually a fairly simple shave to do today, guys, just because it's double-edged. Set on setting 9, the only proper setting that it should be set on, is, is doing the work. I mean, it's, it's simple, it's easy to do, it's not rocket science. Once you figure out that angle, just like on the SEs, yeah, once you figure out the angle, it's all about not pulling the razor. Okay, people call it pressure. Well... I never understood what the word pressure meant on a double edge or on a single edge. So the way I describe it is yeah, you don't want to pull, push the razor, you just want to let it glide. That's the main thing. You want to keep it in check, basically. It's like when you're trying to put peanuts in your Coke and you're driving down the road at 65 mile an hour. Sometimes you gotta use your knee to just keep it straight a little bit. That's kind of the same thing we're doing here. Not that I'd ever tell you to do that. Alright. I'm gonna get one more pass and then we're gonna do our cleanup. There we go there. Kind of feeling around. You get a little more around your lips here. In that area. And then we should be good to go. All right, so there you have it. It's fairly easy to get a good shape with one of these. Like I said, this spot right there, that's not the razor. That was my skin. I just had a, had a pimple there that I couldn't get off. and Well, the razor took care of it for me. So to finish the shave up, we're going to be going with some uh, Stetson Fresh. I really like this scent. Unfortunately, it's, it has been discontinued. That's all right. I keep buying it anyway. Oh, yeah. Good burn. Good burn. Still got enough left for one more save. Alright, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed this. I really enjoyed making it. In the meantime, I'm going to go sit out on the back deck and watch the rain roll in. Hope you have great shapes, and we'll talk to you real, real soon. Thanks, and take care.